Hello everybody. The question we're going to answer today is uh, how to use insecurity to our advantage. Like, yeah, let's do this. What's the answer? So it sounds a bit contradictory. Insecurity sounds like a negative word. We've made a, a whole series of videos about how insecurity can affect your life negatively. But there are some benefits to being insecure in certain areas that can help you perform better and then you can use it to your advantage. So here are some of the things that I've found. So when you are insecure about something, it's generally because you have a fear of not being enough or for where you need to be. So it ends up where you start to work harder. You perceive a gap between where you are and where you'd like to be. And therefore you make up for that gap by working harder to reach your goals compared to people who are overconfident who won't do as much to make sure that they're keeping up or improving themselves. So in that regard, you might have a better work ethic and work harder to achieve the changes you want. Also being insecure means that you're likely to see risks and are therefore more realistic in what you're doing compared to people who are overconfident and can have failed ventures because they're not really seeing all the issues that you might be, pick up on because you are insecure about something. And you might be more liked because if you are a little worried about your social standing or basically how you're perceived by others, you're more likely to be a bit more humble or charismatic simply because you seem more real compared to people who are overconfident and are hiding everything that's going on between a facade, behind a facade or they don't have any, any insecurities to really keep them to the ground in a way. So you might be more liked because of it. And finally, you are more likely to accept criticism. People who are overconfident or narcissistic are likely going to push off any feedback or criticism and say that it's not for them, they don't need it. But if you are insecure about something and you want to improve, your see, you, you're seeing that you're not where you need to be, you don't feel like you're enough, you will take criticism and as a way to improve and make, use that to your advantage as well. So here are some of the ways that insecurities can benefit you. I was very surprised by uh, the things that you said, especially like the last one, because you know, like, I thought the last one would be just like you know, like people doubling down on your uh, insecurities, and you know, like if you criticize them. So, uh, them actually looking at it at another way is definitely like a very interesting way to look at it, and that may be sort of thing that you know, like uh, if they say you know, if you can't beat them, join them, and you know, sort of like get into that mentality. I feel like you know they would always sort of because. Any goal is a lofty goal. Any goal is an ambitious goal because of where uh, they look at themselves. So at some point, they would sort of you know, like, uh, start thriving with uh, you know, not having problem with you know, setting ambitious goals. And uh, so in that way, I definitely sort of agree with, uh, with that in terms of, because you know, once you're okay with setting ambitious goals, that's like a step where you know, you're like, wait, hey, did I read self-love? And you know, so because uh, at first I'm like, buddy, this is where I live, this is, this is insecurity land. And you know, like, from there to be like, yeah, yeah, it doesn't mean I don't know, I need to have goals. I uh, like, I won't have goals. And uh, suddenly, you know, like, once you sort of like, you know, either you sort of like, you know, just, like get away from it, you know, like uh, become like another person where actually at all time you would always feel insecure from time to time. But uh, if you, you you can also just like double down on insecurity and you know like use the advantage that come with it and uh, that's actually like some very interesting things that you brought up. I mean, yeah, you're completely right in terms of criticism can can sometimes push someone to double down harder on themselves and keep them exactly where they are and they might take it really badly. I will say that some of these tips are more for people who are, you know, sometimes acting on the insecurity because there's generally two ways you can go about it. If you're insecure about the way you look, you might try to hide it from other people. You might try to wear looser clothing, things like that, or whatever you can do to hide an insecurity, people go about it that way. Another way would then be to choose action and try to solve whatever you're insecure about. Um, things like plastic surgery to change your facial appearance or going to the gym more to try and lose weight. So I would say some of the tips are more for the people in the second category where you're willing where you're ready to act on it and solve your insecurity. So that is, again, part of it. But something I noticed is in my reading, 
there's a difference between self-compassion and self-esteem. So what you were mentioning about setting goals and trying to achieve them, that's more in the realm of self-esteem and your belief in how much you can do in terms of achieving goals and doing things. But self-compassion is something that's really lacking when you have when you have insecurities. So you don't really love yourself enough. You don't accept yourself as you are. You don't, you're not compassionate towards yourself. So and if that small distinction exists, then you know, you can take criticism about your self-esteem in terms of goals and what you're achieving um, and use that to your advantage. But if it was a critique on how much you love yourself, which is what's lacking in the moment with insecurities, that might definitely push someone too, too much. That sounds interesting. I'm glad you just know that you know, like, uh, insecurity can be used as an advantage. Yeah, but still everything in, in averages, right? No, not having too much of anything is still bad. So glad we got to talk about insecurities. Yeah, this was a good talk. So, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, like all the videos that we've done, you know, we started off with, you know, like, because uh, verbalizing insecurities is probably the hardest thing. And we're like, you know what, let's verbalize our insecurities about YouTube. And uh, so we started off there where you can check out uh, the, uh, the, the video over here and uh, came all the way here and done, you know, like, uh, for all the way from uh, how to stop insecurity to be like, you know what, let's do this. Insecurity, come on. <laughs> awesome. Well, we'll see you again tomorrow with something new to talk about. See you then. Oh, you're still here? Well, thanks for getting to the end of the video. Hey, while you're still here, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get new updates when we post videos. Also, make sure to check out these equally exciting videos as well. Have you pressed it yet? Come on, you have five seconds left. Three, two, press it now.